Hello, I'm Chris Gregory, and I've uh, had some requests to show you how I, how I use my knife, so I thought I'd take this opportunity to do that this morning. Um, I use a right-handed and a left-handed knife, and the reason is, is I can grip my frog on both sides without having a loop knife. It makes it a little easier to a little easier to sharpen the knife, and it's kind of become my habit. I'll use my left knife. This hook stick, I'll just clean out both sides of the commissure, right here along what we call the perikineal sulci. And use the pick to clean everything up. Now the first job of this knife is to cut up this side of the frog. So I'll just lay it right here, keep my angle pretty straight, control the tip, and just pull it right up. As you get more experience, you'll be able to do that a lot faster. If you ever stop with your knife, every time you stop, you'll end up with a little line, as you can see right there. So try to keep it very smooth and very clean. Okay, so my left knife does just pretty much that job. I may cut off a little bit of a, of a tag if I have it in my way. My right knife, will do the first thing I'll do with it is my frog on this side. And again, just pull right up that side. I want this to be self-cleaning. So my frog shape here is going to mimic what the sensitive frog underneath would be. I don't generally do a whole lot in the middle of the sulcus unless it, it really needs it. And this one's pretty clean. So this is a nice, dry, hard foot. I like to cut off my tags right there. Just make the back of it clean and neat. Now, I'm going to do uh, my initial knife work. Hold your knife like you're going to stab yourself with it. Anchor your tong hand or your left hand, for me, left hand, on the foot and when I push my handle to the left the blade will go to the right and I'm able to use leverage some people will use their thumb I have a little spot right here that's actually uh, from years of uh, knifing like that I've got a nice big callus there and that's how I do it so I'll start right here inside my bar I'll just come right around as that sole flakes off the sole is flaky it's got some cracks in it and it's telling me we got a lot of a lot of uh, vertical depth of sole. When I get to this side, I can anchor the foot with my left hand and pull up. If you're doing this on, on the off hind foot, be careful that you don't come out and cut the leg. So that's that's one precaution there. I'm gonna just take the tip off that frog. All right, my bars, my rule on trimming my bars, if my bars are strong and upright, I don't mind leaving them. But I still wanted to find them. If they are in the type of foot where they lay down, roll over, and can cause problems in here, then I want to take them. These bars are nice and strong and healthy. They're pretty upright. This horse has been done about probably eight weeks ago. Nice, clean, easy strokes with the knife. And just cut out nice, thin pieces. Every time you stop, with your knife you will have a you will have a line so try to make it flow through the entire cut after the foot is trimmed then we can clean it up just a little bit more before the wall is out of our way this little hook pick is very handy for making sure that that's very clean making sure I get all the debris out of the foot and helping me to establish where I want to go with it well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions, email me at anvil at earthlink.net. Have a great day. Okay, so we're doing a little series on how to use a knife. And uh, I did the video the other day, and Cody pointed out something very critical to me. I was very much about the technical aspects of how to use a knife and not so worried about how the foot looked. And so he said, Dad, you can't put that up there. <laughs> he didn't do a very nice job on that foot. And he was right. So uh, now, Cody's going to do a foot for us and talk to us a little bit about the technical aspects of making this foot look good. Our knife has a radius on it. So the important thing, the reason this is important to know is we're trying to carve this foot with an even radius all the way around it. So best case scenario, I could take this knife and I could put it in the foot here and I could pull it all the way around just like that and I would end up with perfectly smooth knife work. Before we get to the sole though, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my frog, take care of these little 
tags back here. That'll allow me to see kind of how much frog I have take off. For nice frog work, it is essential to have a sharp knife. If you can do it in one pass, that's really good. You can't, to do nice knife work, you don't want to be sawing on it. If you notice, as I'm doing this, I'm doing nice, long, straight strokes with my knife. Okay, and that's what allows me to do a really nice frog trim there. Making sure I get all the dirt out from underneath the commissures. Now, the important thing about this is that I can see how long the foot is by trimming my frog. I'm going to come down, and right wherever my last stroke ends is where I'm going to center my blade. Okay? So right there, I'm going to center my blade in that. Okay? It's important to do your knife work. This shows you how much hoof wall we have to nip. Okay? By getting our, our sole trimmed up properly. Once I'm done nipping, you can see I have this ridge of sole. I'm going to come in and I'm going to swoop. And this is going to clean out the seat of my corn and define my bar. Now, when I use my knife, I'm using my left hand as a pivot point and I'm pushing my knife around as leverage. Just like so. Now, you see how I've knifed all of this? Right there. Now, after I've done that, the radius of that is there, the center of that radius. So I'm going to center my knife on the center of the last stroke. Long, thin, nice, even strokes. We see a lot of people that have uh, a lot of curve to the blade end up with a lot of scallops in that sole. One of the reasons we, we wanted the design of this blade to have a little bit of a straighter blade to it. Problem with the curved blade I find is you can have the center of it short, really short, bleeding short, but you're still going to have length near the point of the frog and to the outside. The foot doesn't have as much curvature as most of those blades. Okay? Right. So that's pretty nice smooth knife work is kind of what you're looking for. Yep. Alright Code Man, well hey, thank you very much. We're going to add that to the, to the video and And by the way I did my knife work in my trim, you can see I had my foot prepped with a rim of hoof wall all the way around there. And I have no sole pressure relief to give right now. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.